To solve a question like this on the SAT, the key idea is to understand the types of x and y values that exist in quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. So at this point, let's go ahead and look at the types of values we could put in for quadrant, um, for all quadrants um, that could produce a 1 when we put the x over y. So let's take a look at the first one would be, an example would be 3 and 3 would be good values for quadrant 1. For quadrant 2, minus 3 and 3 would be good values there. For quadrant 3, minus 3 and minus 3. For quadrant 4, 3 and minus 3 would be good values there. And at this point, we want to then go ahead and try to solve for what x over y would be in each case. So what you want to do is look at the x over y um, option. So in quadrant 1, x over y will be 3 over 3, which produces a 1. x over y in uh, quadrant 2 will be minus 3 over 3, which also produces, which produces a negative 1. In quadrant 3, uh, x over y will be minus 3 over minus 3, which produces a 1. And in quadrant 4, x over y will be 3 over minus 3, which produces a negative 1. And in looking at all these values, you just, at this point, just need to pick which one, obviously, just gives us a 1 value. Uh, the only time that happens is in quadrant 1 and also in quadrant 3. So as a result, the answer is C, which is 1 and 3 only. Thank you.